Welcome back and in this lesson I want to talk about BGP communities and specifically how they're used in AWS. BGP communities are used in many networks, those which involve AWS and those which don't, but as a network architect or specialist you need to understand the concept fully, so let's just jump in and get started. Let's start by focusing on BGP. BGP, as I've mentioned earlier in the course, is a protocol where routes are exchanged via two or more autonomous systems. An example relevant here is between AWS and a customer router, either in the Direct Connect location or on-premises when the DX connection is extended to a customer site. Now, BGP communities you can think of as tags attached to those prefixes which are advertised by BGP extra metadata which is sent along with the advertisement giving some extra information or context about that route. Now you have a few well-known predefined ones including no export and this is a directive not to advertise any routes that you learn to any external BGP peers which you have. Then we've got no advertise which is a directive not to advertise to any other BGP peers. Peers. So this includes internal or external. AWS use no export for any routes that they advertise to you because they don't want you to advertise to other BGP entities which you're peered with. Now in addition to these well-known predefined ones there are regular BGP communities. These are 32-bit values split into two 16-bit portions. The format is traditionally the AS number which is advertising the prefix and then an operator assigned value and examples are 7224 colon 9100 and 7224 colon 8100 where 7224 is Amazon's AS number and 9100 and 8100 are values decided by AWS. BGP operators, meaning you or AWS, act on advertisements based on their communities. You can decide to create a rule or act in a certain way for all prefixes with the BGP community of 7224 colon 9100 and another way for 7224 colon 9200 for example. So creating different rules for different communities allows you to act in an automated way based on the community you Used by the entity advertising that prefix. Now BGP communities are used for many things in relation to Direct Connect. Two of them are important for this lesson and one of which I'll be covering later in a dedicated lesson. For this lesson what matters is that communities are used to identify where route advertisements are from and where you want your advertisements to go. So let's look at this visually. This is a rough approximation of a world map and I've gone ahead and left most of it in black. But the North American continent I've highlighted in orange and the UK which is part of the European continent is shown in lighter grey. For context and as a reminder this is the AS number of Amazon Inc. so 7224. So when AWS perform any operations involving BGP especially public ones they will generally use the 7224 ASN. And we're going to assume for this example that the Animals for Life organization has a DX connection in the Northern California region and logically enough it also has business premises nearby. Not in the ocean as shown on screen now but somewhere on land close to the DX location. When AWS advertise any of their public networks they do so using their AS number of 7224. But these advertisements might concern the public zones in the local region or somewhere across the globe. BGP communities are used to provide some level of visibility of the location of route advertisements. So when AWS advertise a route over Direct Connect, if the route originates in the same region as the DX location, in this case Northern California, then it's tagged with a 7224 
8100 community value. So any routes which originate in the same region as your DX location will have the BGP community of 7224,8100. Any prefixes which originate from the same continent, in this case North America, shown in orange, will have a BGP community of 7224,8200. So this 8100 versus 8200 will allow you, as a BGP administrator, to identify where a route originates from. Anything which is not within the same region or same continent, so global prefixes, have no BGP community tag. So prefixes are tagged by AWS based on if they're in the same region, same continent, or global. And this is all relative to your DX location. So a DX location in the UK will have any prefixes for AWS public zone services in that region tagged with 7224,8100. It's important to understand that these BGP communities are relative to the DX location. Now you can do the same process with routes that you advertise, only this time using 7224,9100 for anything that you want to be advertised in the local region only, 7224,9200 for anything that you want advertised to the continent, 7224,9300 for anything that you want to be advertised globally, and if you specify nothing for the BGP community for a prefix, then AWS assumes that you're okay with it being advertised globally across the AWS network. So that's architecturally two ways that you can use BGP communities across DX connections. Now before we do finish up with this lesson, I want to cover a few points in summary. BGP communities control how far AWS advertises our routes. It allows BGP administrators to define rules which govern how to handle incoming prefix advertisements, and you can create these rules which are based on these BGP community tags. So create one rule or one routing policy that's based on a specific BGP community tag. Now they do have other uses, as you'll learn about elsewhere in this section of the course. And one important one is controlling local preference. Now this is an advanced networking topic that will have its own lesson elsewhere in this section of the course. But I did just want to highlight that BGP communities are not limited to just showing the origination point of routes or controlling where routes are advertised to. They have other uses within AWS when using Direct Connect. Now that is everything I wanted to cover in this lesson. I will be covering other uses of BGP communities elsewhere in this section, but for now, go ahead and complete this video, and when you're ready, I look forward to you joining me in the next.